Okay, this is the longest segment that I'm gonna record of this hardcore Omega Ruby Nuzlocke. Last time, we beat Tabitha, right? And his, his strategy to cover up his boss was to get my super powerful Graveler to level up over the level cap so that I couldn't use him in a maxi fight because the level cap with maxi is 27. I cannot use Graveler for his goal bat. This is one of the first this is one of the fights that worries me the most because I don't have I don't I don't I don't I don't have Siegfried anymore, I don't have my Makuhira anymore because I got him dead against Wilton, a cool trainer that is on right one one eleven. The first death of my Nuzlocke against that guy, who is rematchable, thankfully, so that I can um, destroy him all the time that I feel like I'm frustrated for not having Makuhira, I can go back to him and whoop his butt for killing my Makuhira, as well as this guy who died in a fight against this guy, that's why I call him Paul, because Paul used to slaughter Christians and then he joined the cause. Same exact thing for this guy, who's actually been pulling his way, so uh, good stats, you know. Uh, this is the team for the fight Due to Graveler not being not being usable. I had to strategize something different for Golbat, which I was um, Rightfully concerned about uh, These guys are good. Oh my god, this ant this freaking ant, bro All right These guys are good, but they're not good for maxi um Yeah, they're not good for maxi uh, They're all good. They're all very strong in their own ways, you know, he's unusable, he's same as before, so I decided to go for the advanced strat. You see this thing? This thing has got guts, right? So what I did was use the hard skill to, to teach him Brave Bird, which it learns at level 1, teach him Facade, which I can buy at the Movil uh, market, get him poison in the Perlburg Woods with a Wurmple, <laughs> <clears throat> by not attacking Wurmple, by using attract or something, uh, I, I I taught him taught him taught him attract taught her attract, and we encountered a female Wurmple that poisoned Swallow, so that I could activate Guts, and Guts is gonna be extremely key in the maxi fight, and we're gonna see why. Other than that, uh, Harry Bell takes care of uh, uh, it's it's like the emergency backup for camera up, just in case Cygnus, the newly evolved Cygnus X doesn't manage to take it out but it's very unlikely i literally have to drag this thing up to the mount chimney because i don't want to waste rock smash for anybody else and he's another safety measure measure for uh maxi although remember that i'm that i am playing with the same level caps as these as the other guys right i'm sorry i'm i'm using the same amount of pokemon that each boss fight has meaning i cannot use more than three pokemon for maxi but since Swell is going to take out the, his first two Pokemon by itself, <clears throat> I need the Acrobike for the Jack Pass. Since Swell is going to take out his, its first two po his first two Pokemon by itself, I have two slots with which I can choose what Pokemon to use, depending on the situation. I don't have to go in there with pre-planned Pokemon. I can just adapt to the situation at hand. So... Also key in going into this fight was um, having all my Pokemon healed except Swallow so that, you know, I wouldn't get rid of Poison. We get our lucky hard scale here, which is, you know, very good. You know, we have never enough hard scales in a game. We found a Harsh Stone just now, which is also good. I'm going to give it to Gra Gra uh, Graveler once we get to Flannery. Flannery is up next, another fight that I'm actually concerned about. It's very fun to play these hardcore Nuzlocke because you feel like you're never safe, right? And I wanted to record this because this is so cool. This is so beautiful. I'm so glad I'm playing these 3D games because look at this. I mean, compare that to the GBA animation, right? That came out in 2002. 19 years ago, I mean 12 years prior to this game being released, right? RSC was the only Hoenn experience. Can you imagine showing this to a to a six-year-old that was playing Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald at that time? They will, their mind would be blown away. So, another strategy that I have to keep in mind here is that 
is that I cannot let Pokemon overlevel before Maxi, right? So the fight against Tabitha, I have to be careful with what Pokemon do I use. I guess Tabitha. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, 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 okay. And this is awesome too. Look at this. We're on a, on the. Foot. Yeah right. Get out of my blasted way! Yes, Kirby Team Magma knives. Or or face I need a kill hauling. It would have been so cool if you had um Mariana. Okay, first fight. Ooh, he has um. Uh, coughing and a Namel, which I cannot use Serala for this fight, of course. Okay. Coughing, right? Eggier. Definitely Eggier. Okay, first fighting, second fighting, which we see Gyarados in action. I actually stand by Team Magma's goal. It's a little less ridiculous than uh, Team Aqua's. Totally ridiculous plan. And the backgrounds, guys. The backgrounds are so amazing. Okay, this this Pushyana is easy. So easy. I doubt it even has a... Uh, uh, it does. A swagger. Okay, I had to use... I should have used freaking taunt, but this gives me an idea for the this gives me an idea for the maxi fight. I should leave it with Gyarados. Why not, right? Oh my god! Oh no 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 no! Okay, good. Because I didn't want Swallow to be on the field, right? Because otherwise he would have exceeded the level cap, and I could have not used Swallow for maxi coughing this coughing is not a threat uh, not nearly as much as um, the Tabitha coughing which has okay. assurance is a little scary but coughing's physical attack is not hard at all so this is easy okay okay this gives me a, a very good idea for Mariana's, uh, Max's Mariana's, because I can just use Taunt on the Mariana so that it doesn't roar or anything like that. I have a lot of potions. I only have one potion? Crap. I'd have a lot of super potion, right? No. Okay. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Okay, next is... Coughing. Gotta use Gyarados. <laughs> it's you. You're the one who tried to interrupt me, Tabitha, I meet your faults. Do you intend to get in my way once more? You're really, 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 really an obnoxious child, are you? I'll crush you so that you never get in my way again. This is scary. Coughing has got self-destruct. But it's normal is not, so I only have to get past this thing. Which I will by using Dragon Rage twice. And self destruct might not kill because I have. Good. Alright, good. We just neutralized the threat. Um, I have Intimidate, so maybe it doesn't kill. Okay, good. Normal. Super easy. I don't even have to switch, I can just go with Bulldoze. Yep. And again? Ah. I knew you'd be strong. What a shame, though. 
The meteorite we got from Professor Whoever is already in our boss's hands. Where's the boss, you ask? Ah, yes, yes, right this way. Oh, I do hope that you can be shown to Magma's true power. <laughs> I love the fact that they gave these these admins more more story role, more personality, just more more screen time, man. I really like that. Add add more add more people to the cast, yeah. Where's that one potion that I used uh, that I already used, of course. Well, <laughs> gotta resort to Warren Berries. Okay, finally we're here after days of of being scared of this fight. We finally tackle this fight let's go the power contained in the meteorite if we merge the explosive energy contained within the planet's core with the meteorite's power huh? I remember those eyes, and the indomitable will that seems to burn behind them. Now I recall, ah, you're the one who defied us at Slateport's Oceanic Museum. And your presence here tells me that you have defeated Tabitha. Yes, I see now that the stirring of interest I felt was not misplaced. You show true promise. Fine, hm. I'll educate you. Thousands of years ago, there lived a most powerful being that was said to be capable of creating new lands on the planet. The power which we in Team Magma seek, this power which can expand the available landmass, belongs to a legendary and super ancient Pokemon. Though now its lumbers have been lost the, the source of its power and been trapped in deep sleep. So what is it that we must do to awaken this slumbering giant? Our research has led us here, to Mount Chimney. Yes, here, to this very meteorite. If we create the right conditions, we should find ourselves able to alter this meteorite's qualities. Yes, even into a mega stone. Even into a keystone, and here at Mount Chimney, uh, I should not say too much. That is the end of today's lesson. Now then, I believe it is time we begin. The time for the purge has come. I do believe that I made myself quite clear when we were last in Slaveport. I warned you that any fool standing in our way will be met without mercy, and I'll bury you by my own hand. I hope you appreciate this honor. One of my favorite themes. Boom, boom, boom. Finally, I'm actually scared of this guy. Yeah, you can intimidate me as much as you want, buddy, but you got no shot against Facade. Stab Facade powered by Guts is a one hit kill. That was not a one hit KO. And the poison does work a little bit against our favor. Against us, but. We'll make. It. We'll get through it. And, even, and honestly, even if we lose Swallow, we're totally fine. Because I'm not gonna use Swallow for any important fights after this. Maybe, 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 maybe against something later in the game, but I really doubt it. And so this is where the fight gets a little easier, right? Because I can just go here. Oh, Garros is an option, but I honestly prefer to just one-shot this thing, not to hate KO with Bulldogs. And even if Lava Plume burns me, nothing, nothing, nothing happens, right? So I only have one more Pokemon left to the side uh, to use. Woo! Almost there! Almost there! Pelipper, great job! Yeah. Camera up does not have rock slides, so no, no problem here. This is what Siegfried and Roadblock died for. This fight. To get us to this fight, which is arguably harder than the next fight. And then this this freaking Pokemon. That is the real that is the real problem in this fight, right? Confuse rate. No big deal. Exactly. Way to go, way to go, Cygnus X. It's been with us since the start. And it's pulling its way. Air cut it could be critting. And we could die too. No. No. Too little. 
too little power. Goba's got too low stats. Ooh, yes, yes, yes. That is exactly what I wish. What I wish for. Yes. Please, 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 please. Ah. Okay, now we are. We're we're risking this. Oh jeez. Oh no 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 no. Even if yes, or I'm very okay. I'm saying even if we hit ourselves, we're fine. I can just go into Gyarados and and give it a coup de gras, but it won't necess won't be necessary. <laughs> Clean victory! <laughs> yes. Hmm. You're quite capable. I fell behind, but only by an inch. Yes. Okay. Even if the recording stops here for a lack of space, it's totally fine. <laughs> oh. So you repulsed the great Max in battle. <laughs> you never failed to entertain me. An excellent start. This time, permit me to unleash my full strength. Once you've tasted my Pokemon's Mega Evolved power, you'll say goodbye to your last shred of hope. Huh? Hmm? Yes. It's me. Oh. Then it is Mountpire. I understand. I'll come at once. I'm sorry to cut our battle short, but I'm afraid I must excuse myself. Such rudeness demands reparation. Take this meteorite with my apologies. You may do with it what you like. The freaking... This lick talker. And I will not again forget the face of the trainer who managed to thwart me in battle. Also, thank you for this game. Thank you to this game for giving these, these bosses a theme song outside of their regular fight theme because it gives them a more intimidating aura huh if it ain't the little scamp but blast that max he just escaped us and he just left behind the meteorite and he's been crazy about that he's been crazy about finding can't be could he have found out where the real orbs are hidden that sneaky little scientific so and so I'm always left watching his bony backside run two steps ahead of me The toughest kid in all of Hoenn is this guy right here. <laughs> <laughs>